Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood Bowtie here. And before we get into today's episode of Legacy SMP, I got a question for you. First episode I did here, or technically episode zero, I uh, used some fancy shaders on here for that wither fight. And then last episode, I didn't use any shaders at all. Today, I'm using some very simple, more subtle shaders, Silders and Hands default. And my question is, what do you prefer? Do you prefer fancy shaders, no shaders, or maybe these basic shaders that we have on right now? If you need a comparison, just go back and check out the other videos. Doesn't hurt to give me another view or anything like that. But with that, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. Hello from the future. Well, it's your past, my present, but it's the future of this video because you can see I'm standing under something that we have not done some done 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 something done built yet. Oh, <laughs> words are hard in the previous video. So we've already completed a bunch of stuff. And look, there's also shulker boxes and we even got an elytra. So we did a whole bunch of things that I'm now just finally catching you all up on. But yeah, we got shulker boxes. We got elytra. We did this whole building here behind me. Creeper be gone. Don't blow up my sand. And uh, I think there's a skeleton over here. Yeah, skeleton and spiders go clear. Oh, nope, nope, no, let's not show any spoilers over there. We haven't gotten to that part yet, but we'll get rid of the skeleton. And uh, how about, ouch. We go ahead and we start catching up on what I did. Let's start with the thing that I did last, and then we'll work backwards to the thing that we did first, because we're already out of time. I blame the rift, the, the rift and the withering energy and the powers. All that stuff is, is, is messing with, with time. Time's all wibbly wobbly and confused and, and stuff like that. So yeah, let, let, let's go to the end first. I hope you enjoyed that montage. I had a lot of fun making it. It's one of the favorite things I've ever put together on a video. The the end was a lot of fun. We had a couple of mishaps there. We did die at the end, but it's okay. We got our stuff back. Nothing was lost, nothing gone to avoid. And we even found more cities and shulker shells and all that sort of thing. But let's take a look at what I got there. So if we come in to here first, we got a whole bunch of iron gear. I don't know what to do with the iron gear. I, I, I picked it up and collected it anyways. I don't know. If you got ideas for what I can do with the iron gear, feel free to let me know because I got no idea. Aside from the iron gear, we get all these shulker shells. Look at that. One, two, three stacks of shulker shells. Plus we got 10. And then this would have been two, four, six, eight, basically 10 and a half, three and a half stacks of shulker shells. And it's amazing. We got diamonds, gold, some heads and, and iron and, and some other cool stuff as well. And then over here, we have a whole bunch of backup and replacement gear. And look at this. We got one, two, three, four elytra plus the one on my back. So again, this is amazing. We had such a good time. Oh, whoop, you, got, you, got, you got a little peak of cobblestone back there. Don't look, don't look. You better not look. Uh, oh, but we did a couple of other things here. And I guess we'll talk about that because that's actually the last thing that we did. Not the end wasn't the last thing that we did. That was like the, the second thing that we did after the building. We we came over here earlier and, and there's an enchanting room somewhere. There it is, this enchanting room. We used this anvil in here. We, we hung out in here. I don't know who built this thing. I've used it a couple of times now. I don't know who built it. But whoever it did, thank you so much. It's been very useful, very kind of you to do it. Um, we accidentally stripped a little bit of acacia log here. Don't pay any attention to that. But we use this anvil here to name a couple of our items. And let's check out what we named. We have our sword here called the Scaffold, named by Lava Anointed. 
Lava Anointed? Lava Appointed. Lava Anointed. Wait, I gotta double check that name. It was Lava Anointed. I got it. I knew it. First try. No no mistakes were made here. Thank you, Lava, for that one. Uh, the idea behind that one was that since I'm gonna be doing some research and collecting things, we might have to dissect some stuff, and uh, we want to go with kind of like a science-y themed name for all of our gear, so... Our sword is now the scalpel so we can cut and dissect things with. The other thing that we named here are our boots. We call them the bunny slippers. That was named from a stream suggestion by Starstream. Long time viewer, probably my number one supporter. Thank you for that, Stars. Uh, that's all we're gonna name for today. Nothing else is named right now. So if you wanna get in on an opportunity to name a piece of my gear, be sure to hop in to those Twitch streams and give me your suggestions or put them down in the comments below in this YouTube video see I'm, I'm i'm crouching down to indicate go down below and why are there leave a like and don't forget to subscribe all those things that youtubers tell you to do now that i've got our items named here how about i go ahead and show you what i built up on stream we got a little bit more of a tease right here above me you can see the tippy tops of it so you've seen the tops you've seen the bottoms how about you see the rest of it now so let's go ahead and roll that beautiful time lapse footage Here we are, back from that time lapse. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun building that up on stream. I have a lot of fun doing tons of things on stream. But let's check out our build here, flying around, flying past. Let's see from a couple different angles here as we come, swoop back around. And I'm in love with this build. Let's let's swoop down and under. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, wow, that was, that was close. We somehow managed to fly underneath, and not just underneath, but thread the needle right there. We took some damage, but that was... Uh, I'm still kind of impressed with that. I can't, I can't believe that worked. How did I not die there? I should have died there. Uh, but yeah, here, here are my, my steampunk towers this is going to be like a gatehouse, the entrance to my area coming in here. We're going to have all of our research labs and things. Let me show you around a little bit. Uh, so we have our, our walkways this is where technically the gate would be, but we, we ain't got no gate here. I'm not sure what we're going to do for that. Uh, we got some, some gears or cogs here. I guess those are the mechanisms that maybe open and control the gate. And we have some piping here using some acacia wood. I was thinking about changing out this acacia wood. Once 117 is uh, here on the server, changing it out and using some copper here. I think the copper could look really nice, but I have people tell me, no, 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 bow tie, bow tie, stick with the uh, the the acacia. It looks great. It looks fantastic. Don't don't change it. So let me know down below. Should I change it? Should I keep it? Should I do one as 
acacia and, and one as as copper because we got we got two of these pipes we got two of these towers over here so we got this one over here and we got these up here going a little bit differently so i, I wanted to play around a little bit with not having perfectly symmetrical towers and some asymmetry so you have the pipes looking a little bit different we have the tops of the towers looking a little different there as well as the chimneys they're all different heights and things now another thing that i played around with and i don't know which i like so i'm going to ask for your suggestions again in the comments tell me which one you like better do you like the uh i don't know what this is supposed to be maybe it's a boiler or something i have no idea furnace I, something like that do you like this one here that is the red sandstone and acacia or do you prefer this one here that's using stone and basalt uh, I was also thinking about possibly, and this wasn't a suggestion that I got, was to change out the stairs, put in some blast furnaces in here, and that could actually look pretty nice in here as well. So let me know what you think looks better. Should I stick with the acacia and use copper, or should I stick with the basalt or stick with the acacia here, or should I wait until I get copper? Third option, surprise! More more copper stuffs. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm overwhelmed with options here for once we can get into 117. So give me your ideas. Give me your suggestions. Give me your feedbacks. Got all those lovely things in here. And then I, I forget. Did I tell you this? Did I tell you that this one already hides my nether portal? So wait a second. Where's my door? I'm... L I lost a door. <laughs> I lost a door somewhere. So I must have had a zombie come in here and break the door down. But yeah, if we come into here, we got our we got our nether right here. So we're super close to the uh, the central nether area and the Strider Raceways. And just over yonder is where I think the, the, the portals to Quantum Reef City. And that is, I believe, the um, the Trident Farm over there. So we're getting we're getting hooked up. We're getting set up and established here on the server. Let's go back over to our portal here. So I'm in love with these towers. I, I think they came out really nice and I, I had such a fun time putting them together, design, and figuring out what it was gonna be like. There is another kind of tweak I wanna make to this thing. So if you got ideas or suggestions for this, please let me know because dark oak, dark oak is not something that's very easy to, uh, to add texture and block variations to. I did a little bit here using the dark oak logs, just the ends of them there. Um, but I'm debating, like, what else can I add in here? What else can I do to make it look just a bit prettier, to add in some texture so it's not just all these planks where I know I can do some cartography tables and I can try doing some spruce logs, but is there anything else that works with the dark oak here? But yeah, this was uh, super cool. Really happy with how this turned out. All right, so it's now tomorrow, which is yesterday for you, if you're watching this video the day it comes out, but it's still today for me. So yeah, time's all sorts of weird and, and confusing and I don't understand it anymore. I think I know what could be happening with the time and why it's all messed up in today's episode. And I think it has something to do with this chest that's right here over my head. The, the, the barrel that we've been storing all the rift energy. So let's go take a look. So as we can see, everything in here is 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 full. We, we have our materials from the wither fight. We have the gear that came in from, from the rift. We got some nether stars and, and uh, a couple of the, uh, the, the rift trophies from the advancement race. But the problem is... We've outgrown that storage. We've had more items continue to come in and we've had to put them in with our regular storage with everything else. That can't be safe. That can't be good. So what I need to do is start making plans for safe containment and stop this possible contamination and spreading and, and messing with the time and space continuum. The time space continuum is in danger, people. I'll be working on that until next time. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up right here because I got to get started in this ASAP. I can't let this go on any longer. Let me take care of that and I'll see you all again real soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.